Hi everyone, hope all of you are healthy and well. So previous in one of my older videos or previous videos about uh, three or four videos back, I, uh, I went through one particular learning path. I just give a brief uh, walkthrough about that learning path just because uh, for you, some of you, your training has not started. However, you might know your domain. So that would have been helpful for you. So today I thought about, okay, let me go ahead and share another uh, small walkthrough. Okay. So because I got few queries or other requests that if I can go ahead and share about this. So let me go ahead and take you guys through it. Okay. So today I will go ahead and give you a walkthrough on uh, Q&A. So it is quality engineering and assurance. So more or less relates to testing. So CSE, QEA, quality engineering basics. So that's the name of the learning path. Now, who all are going to follow this learning path? And uh, what are the learning paths which are there? So I will go ahead and talk about that. I will go ahead and give you that information right now. So uh, my son is just peeking behind the door. And he's looking at me. What happened? Nothing, na? Okay. All right. So he's interested to know what I am, why am I, am I speaking to uh, to my mobile like this? Okay. So coming back to the topic. So what are the tracks or what are the learning path that is going to follow this? So understand Q, E and A, that's a service line. Okay. Always remember there is service line, there is domain, there is learning path. So service lines are more or less associated with different domains. So Q, E and A. You already get already know okay by the name that it more or less relates to testing so the learning path or the i would say uh, so under this sl the tracks that follow this learning path right now in csd would be qa uh, crm product testing with selenium and sfdc qa ipm product testing with selenium osp product testing with selenium qa s debt and uh, quality engineer with selenium and java i will just repeat it once again so crm product testing with selenium and sfdc ipm product testing with selenium osp product testing with selenium s debt quality engineer with selenium and java so if you are in any one of these domain then you are going to follow the learning path as qa quality engineer basic if you are in automation, it's a different learning path for you. Inside, so in, in QENA, there are two types of learning path right now in CSD. So I'll just give you a brief walkthrough because the training for uh, multiple QENA folks has already started. Uh, another set will also get into training uh, probably from uh, Monday onwards. So you will all receive emails on that. Now let me go back to the handbook. Okay, so this is the box. This is the particular curriculum that you guys will go through. What I will do is that I will go ahead and share this. Okay, so what exactly is there in this curriculum? So as I said, CSD, QEA, Quality Engineering Basics. So when your training starts, you will receive the handbook along with Udemy access and a curriculum or learning path in your Udemy because it's self-learning you will go through the learning via Udemy on day. Now, you all know CSD is self-learning program. Now, in this or this particular learning path is of five weeks. Remember, in QA, the first week is always functional testing. Even if you are a Gen C or you're an intern or CSD, the first week is always functional testing. Now, if you are in a Gen C or if you are in an internship, during the end of your first week, there is an ICT. However, if you are in CSD, as you are not going through the assessment through tech stack or through portal, there isn't any ICT for you guys. And ICTs are qualifier. You have two attempts. You have to score 70% and above in ICT and they're quite difficult. However, if you pay attention, it's easy to pass, especially with the functional and testing part. Okay. Now, as I said, five weeks plan. This is how it is. Now, how is the, what are the things which are there? So first week, as I said, functional testing. Second week will have X, uh, SQL, XML, and JSON. Third week and uh, fourth week have uh, Java programming, and fifth week have Web UI. Correct. So these are the five. These are the five weeks. So first week functional testing. Second week is SQL, XML, and JSON. Third and fourth week is Java programming, and fifth week is uh, Web UI. Five week done. Your training gets completed. 
Now, what are the things that you will learn in the first week of functional and testing? Okay. Now, under the functional and testing, you will understand the entire software testing uh, concept. So, under Udemy, you would have to go through something called a complete 2022 software testing bootcamp. So, that's the section or that's the course that you will have in Udemy. That's the first week of functional testing. Once you are done in internship or agency training, you have ICT in, in uh, CSD. There isn't any such thing as I said. Second week, which have uh, SQL, XML and JSON in which you have uh, uh, you have relational database design. You have querying Microsoft SQL Server. That these are the two things that you have to complete. You have practice session for SQL. Once you go through it, you are done with it. Third week and fourth week would be Code Java skill. So you will go through something called Code Java Made Easy, which will be a part of uh, your Udemy. You will also have something called a Complete Java Engineer. It's another course. You have JDB and MySQL. You have uh, asynchronous programming in Java. You would have Java 8 streams and Java 8 new features and Java 8 optionals. So these are the things that are there along with different practice courses. And the last week, which is the fifth week, is Web UI. Under Web UI, you would have to build a website from scratch with HTML and CSS. You would have master XPaths, CSS selectors for Selenium web driver, and JavaScript basic for beginner. So that would be the completion of your fifth week. You have uh, different uh, practice courses that you can take part like JavaScript array, then string methods, you have JavaScript forms, all these practice you can do. Now, once you complete all this, once you have done with this, you have the qualifier. Now, this qualifying assessment is going to happen on the platform metal. Now, in the benchmark is 70%. So, you have to score 70% and above. Now, associate who clears this, move on for advanced training, which is stage 2. Now, that will happen after your onboarding. Now, as I said uh, before in my multiple videos, your onboarding date depends on the business need. So your onboarding can happen during your training, after your training or even before your training starts. Okay, just keep that in mind. Go through it. What I just mentioned, listen to it. I have explained the entire uh, walkthrough as shortest way as possible because no, I'm not from this Q&A background. Okay, so I would not know this technology. So hope you can do some research, keep yourself ready and up to date. So when your training start, it'd be easy to catch up with things and uh, best of luck guys. So that's the walkthrough. So guys, thank you so much for listening, watching, sharing the videos, uh, go through it. If anything else is needed, any advice you need, just let me know. Right. So thank you so much. You all have a great day. Take care of yourself and good night guys.